Hello everyone, I am Nutrix the Synth Guy and today we're going to talk about books. Yeah, books. Yeah, books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three books. Uh, three books because I think it's always useful to learn more and to be able to do more with what we know. And these are three books that are just fun to read and easy to read. One is harder and I would say demand a lot more focus, but that one is a free one. So let's start with the, I would say, leisure reading. Uh, Synthesizer Evolution from analog to digital and back from Oli Freak, and it's from Velocity Press. Uh, this is a cool little book. It's just a fun, I would say, uh, bedside book reading. This is basically a book about synthesizers. It's a history of synthesizers. We've got a lot of model uh, and drawn in there. We've got information about specific, you know, and stats and some quirky information about each of them. You have a uh, presentation of, you know, basics of evolu uh, the evolution of synthesis, um, differences between a VCO, a VCF, uh, a DCO, um, differences between digital uh, synthesis, additive synthesis, FM synthesis, sampling. So I think it's a kind of cool book to wrap around all the notion and even abbreviation, you know, modular, MIDI, semi-modular, string synthesizer, uh, vector synthesis, a lot of information. And they present also uh, each company, and not all of them, but most companies with a little uh, paragraph explaining what they are, um, you know, how they came to be. And then you've got for each model, is, is it analog, digital, and the information about it. So it's really cool. Uh, it's a fun, simple, you know, book to read. And then you discover some, oh, what's that model? I never heard of that one. And then you go look online, or when you see somebody talk about something, you go, okay, let me look at it. And then you go, okay, it was used in this song, you know, and it's uh, uh, made in this year and all that stuff. So I like this. I like these kind of historical little book. We got information, technical information, but at the same time, it's packaged in a way that is just like a fun book. So that's the fun read, easy read. Next one is We All Need to Mix Better. <laughs> And most of the time when people talk about doing a better mix, um, they talk about learning how to use a compressor EQ, uh, you know, and yes, of course, these are tools you need to know and use correctly, but at the same time, tools do not tell you how to use them. Uh, and I like to compare that to cooking, you know, when you cook a, a, a meal, it's like mixing a song. You've got all the ingredients um, and there's a recipe and you learn to follow it, but every time you do it yourself, you change a little bit the recipe and it becomes better just because you use your tools the way you want to and you learn to work with what you have. Same thing with mixing. You have all the recipes of the song in the tracks and then you're gonna have to mix them. And of course, tools have an effect on the mix, but mixing with your mind is the one key thing. And it's important. This is a really good book, a straightforward about how to approach mixing the right way, not about tools, but about how you want to use these tools and how you want to do this. So, and this is really written in a simple manner that everybody that uh, wants to mix better and it goes by inst you know, instrument. You know, you want to do uh, piano. Well, and look, look at this is really cool. You've got like, okay, concept, cardioid versus omni MS. And then you only have three paragraph and it's clear. And you go, okay, I understand the difference. So it's a very easy to read book. And there's a huge amount of information in there. Honestly, um, you're going to find yourself put in a lot of you know, tips in there, uh, little flags to come back and to, to read it again. I just find it's a, it's, a, it's a nice, simple, efficient, straightforward information way to be able to, you know, to get further with what you already know or, and you'll learn stuff that you never knew before. So this is by Michael Paul Stravu, 
Um, and it's from, um, what's the name of the company? It's uh, Flux Research. I'll put the, all the links of these books down in uh, the, the um, description. The last one is a free book. Um, if you are interested in changing or working in acoustics or treat your room so it sounds better or create a vocal booth or whatever you want, if you want to isolate your studio, the first thing you should do is read about acoustics. And one very simple yet efficient book about it is the book called Acoustic 101. It's a PDF of about 52 pages, but it can be dense. Um, but still, the way it's written, it's there to explain. It can be in detail, but it's still going to be very useful and try to understand how acoustics work and specifically in studio, how to control acoustics so that your studio works the way you want. Uh, so it's a really cool book, well, PDF book. Uh, it's free from RLX Acoustics. It was first written in 2004. There's actually a second one, Real World Acoustics. Um, where there's a lot of other tips. So I'll put the other link also for this other one, which is Real World Acoustic, which is more aimed at uh, you're having your studio at home. Well, how to approach it so your studio at home is a good enough quality you can do the right decision in it. Whereas the first one, the Acoustic 101, is kind of uh, you know learning about you know absorption, diffusion, diffraction, all these acoustic realities that exist um, and, and try to get your mind around it. So that one is free. The two of them are free. It's actually four books, two physical soft cover and hard cover, two different books, really interesting. And the two others are from Aurelex about acoustics and how to approach it for your studio if you want to. That's it, a little bit of reading to get further with your projects. That's it for today. Stay safe and make more music.